Hello everyone, I would like to continue the series on how to edit content in your ConvertKit broadcasts and email if you don't have the editor that other email systems have where uh, they allow you to drag and drop content and personalize it visually and make it look nice um, according to your design ideas and this is a, a very simple tutorial that shows you how to customize the font the font size and color of your content in your broadcast in ConvertKit using the old editor not the new editor which is still in beta um, and this tutorial will focus on how to change uh, the text directly just just changing the text in your style in your in your editor so that it can be uh, displayed differently and the way we're going to do this is quickly with the uh, help of a template so I try to change the uh, text uh, color for example in the normal in the editor here while editing my broadcast but that didn't work out very well because um, the editor is stripping the style tags so let me show you what I wanted to do so I have a, a new broadcast here it's a test broadcast and I have some Laura Mipsum text in it in here it doesn't really matter and this is just clean text clean um, no styling of any kind if I um, open this in the browser like a preview you can see it's got the red text because I used it in my style but it's actually nothing else if I look in the source there is nothing here just paragraphs of text and some headings heading 2 and heading 2 and a heading 3 so how do I change the look of this text if um, I want to make it in, so that it can be used in other broadcasts in the future and it looks the same like here so just to give you an example I created a blank template here um, and it just has in it the message content and the unsubscribe links which is the uh, required placeholders that you have to have in every template for where your content goes and where the unsubscribe link goes so I've saved this and if I uh, open this in the browser now I've removed that red text so you can see that it's now just the clean text it has no styling whatsoever it just has the content here and the unsubscribe link at the bottom there so I want to show you now how you can change this font this uh, this font first of all let's change the uh, font color just to demonstrate how we can do it in the template so um, I'm gonna try in the editor first not in the template just so we be uh, sure so I'm gonna go here to demonstrate that the editor actually removes your styling you cannot put style blocks in the editor here because they will be converted to plain text so I'm just gonna um, add a style block here okay and inside the style sheet so notice I am in the uh, source code editor not in the main editor so I, so I clicked on these brackets here and I switched to HTML mode and I added my style block so you notice that this text is actually paragraphs yeah each one of them is included in a paragraph so I'm just gonna say paragraphs and just as a simple example I'm gonna say uh, color is red I'm just gonna say color is red now watch what happens when I switch back to the HTML to the text so I can see what happens you can see it has not ha done anything and it's converted my style code into plain text and added some funny um, tags here and things like that so obviously it's not gonna work like that because every time we switch back to the text mode it just uh, removes everything so I'm gonna delete all of this and I'm gonna leave my text blank as it is now uh, no f no formatting no t no fonts nothing no styles um, of course you could actually go and do it manually so if I want to make this font uh, larger I just select it you know and I go font size 16 uh, and maybe change the color to some sort of red here you know so that did it but this only applied to this um, paragraph these other ones 
are left blank and uh, black and small so this styling this color and, and and font size will not be accessible for me in future broadcasts unless i duplicate this broadcast and i go through you know uh, which is not what we want to do so what you uh, need to do is change your template okay so that next time you create a broadcast and you use the same template and all of your styles will be there. You don't even have to worry about it. You just type your text um, and your titles and every, your content and they will just apply that text. So let me show you how you do that. I have, um, I'm gonna re uh, undo here what I did just now. So this is a blank, um, just simple text with no formatting on it, right? So you see here that I chose a test template. I created a blank new te uh, template in my, um, in my account and now I'm gonna go and edit this template uh, this is my template here like I said before it just has these two placeholders so this is where I want to add my styling okay so it's, it's a good idea to just have the style block at the beginning of the template this will be included and then your text will be included inside where this placeholder is so I'm just gonna make some room at the top and I'm gonna add a style block uh, so the style block is like the style type text CSS and then just put a few blank line there and close it and now like I did before, let's just try and make the text red. Let's see if that works, okay? So I'm just gonna say the paragraphs, open the block, block, and the paragraphs should have color um, red. Let's just put plain red keyword in here. So all the paragraphs have color red. I'm gonna save this and go to my text here, my, uh, my email content broadcast, and let's click on browser to preview my email now with this template yeah so there we go my text is now red nothing else has changed and it seems to be a very basic times new roman font so not even a font okay if you uh, want to use fonts uh, such as um, you know sans serif fonts as opposed to serif fonts then you would probably be safer just referring to them um, according to their classes to the to the class like um, sans serif or serif uh, you could you could add a, 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 before they could add Arial Helvetica and sans serif for example so if the uh, device that the user is reading the email on has that font they will use it otherwise they will fall back to your um, to your default which would be a sans serif font if you say that so um, let's just change the font to sans serif um, I will go back to my template okay and here uh, in addition to the color red I'm just gonna put a font family Arial Helvetica sans serif okay this is what I'm doing I'm not putting any font sizes right now let's see if this worked okay I'm back at my editor let's see a browser preview again so yes my font is now sans serif and it kept the color red um, let's change the headings a bit uh, to sans serif as well and also uh, make them a different color maybe green okay let's just go crazy with the colors so switching back to my templates, I can um, add a new block here for my headings. So let's call it H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. Okay, all of the headings, one, two, six. Um, I want them to be um, font family, the same, and color, let's say green, simple green. Okay, let's save it and preview it again. Here we are. My, heading are. my headings are now sans serif and they are green. So this is very easy to, to change your um, appearance of your text uh, using style, CSS style in the templates of your broadcasts. So whenever you change your, um, you create a new broadcast, you just choose that template from the dropdown, just write your clean text using specific um, 
HTML simple tags, paragraphs, headings, and so on. And then uh, they will just be styled as you like them to be. So in a future broadcast, if you want to maybe change um, the colors or the fonts, all you have to do is just change the template. And even if you've already partially edited a broadcast, or if you have emails that are in sequences and automations, they will all start to use the new version of that template and all of your styling will apply um, according to your style sheets, to, to your CSS style. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, sorry, it was a bit long drawn, but um, I hope it's useful. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos coming on ConvertKit, HTML, image editing, styling, and design.